It's a simple shop front which also serves as a workbench. Using string and bamboo, Wu Ding Kung sets up his stall, hanging his calligraphy and stencil designs. I learned stencil making because I needed a job that could make a living. Wu Ding Kung has been in business for 30 years. The tools haven't changed, a hammer and chisel is all he needs to trace a design and carefully cut each iron sheet. The job requires a steady hand and patience. But these days he's up against some tough competition. The world is moving forward. Some things have to be replaced. There's nothing we can do. Technology is now more advanced. This is one of the oldest crafts in Hong Kong, making handmade signs. This strip was once lined with stencil making stalls. Now there are just two tradesmen left. Digital and commercial production have been tough competition. Even so, some customers are still faithful to this traditional craft. I still choose stencils because it's convenient for my kind of work and it's traditional. Although it is obsolete, but tradition should be valued and carried forward. Not only has the industry changed, but the surroundings here have too. This area used to be full of market stalls and street hawkers. Now it's hotels, high-end department stores and high-rise. But Wu Ding Kung appears unfazed by the threat posed by the modernisation of printing. I will keep working on this as long as there's still business. I can't promise how long I can stay here since no one can predict tomorrow. It may be a dying trade, but this traditional craftsman still has some orders. It's enough to pay the bills and keep the industry alive for now. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.